Dunluce is a 135,000 acre property west of Huendon on the Flinders River. Well, we're, um, we're a beef cattle enterprise here and yeah. we, we, we're very interested in, in basically maintaining or improving the health of the environment around us. Jack and Kylie Stewart Moore and daughter Elsie own and manage Dunluce. Uh, we really want to um, take proactive steps to reduce any, any, um, any damage that is done to, to our environment, but more so to have a, a real conversation about regenerating our environment and regenerative agriculture. And, um, and today we've got a field day with about 35 people from you know, a, a vast area, uh, from Torrens Creek to um, the other side of Richmond and over to Cloncurry even. Stuart Andrews headed up the field day, organised by the Southern Gulf NRM. He spoke passionately about pasture regeneration and natural sequence farming, allowing nature to do what it does best. And the thing is that this landscape was managed by plants long before humans ever got here. And so what we're trying to replicate is what was here prior to any human intervention, whether it be recently in our time or before the, the indigenous folk. So what we want to do is build something that's going to be ultimately taken over by plants. Stuart Andrews demonstrated the foundation of his system in the garden at Dunluce, how the flow of water could be interrupted and spread so pasture gains better use of the water. He offered a different take on how invasive weeds colonise the landscape. So all of the deeper rooted plants, those the deeper rooted ones that we like to term as weeds, are primary colonising plants. They come into a, into a landscape that's either dehydrated or deficient in nutrients. And because they've got those deep root systems, they've cons they can out-survive both of those situations. So if they're lacking in fertility, they've got a root system that can tap into some further down, but they also have the ability to, to capture nutrients out of the atmosphere. And same with water. Because they've got that deeper root system, they're able to survive for longer and so they will build the system and when they are dropping the fertility onto the ground they will both improve the hydrology because they allow more intake and they will add more fertility to the surface and the plant that grows after that is always grass. The field day moved to the paddock where Stuart Andrews explained how nutrition and fertility can be lost with fast flowing water. So what, what we're seeing in, in the creek that we've been looking at today is there's a degree of of recent erosion. Some of it are the most of the storms that they had earlier this year and some of it from years gone by. So my advice to them is that they need to look at slowing the flow in there and increasing the volume of plants they've got on their entire landscape which reduces the pressure on this particular area because this is our key area for this our whole landscape as this is our dr the drainage line this is carrying away all of their water and their fertility so the more they steady the flow up here one they reduce the amount of sediment load that moves out of the system and two that means they're holding fertility in their landscape which is gives them their productivity while rocks and fallen logs can slow the flow of water on coastal properties, other methods are required for the rangelands we may need to use a structure which which um, an earthen structure potentially, which slows down the speed of the lower level of the water, but it needs to be covered in vegetation because at the end, the vegetation is what will maintain this system over the long term. I suppose we were a bit concerned about the application of his methods over such a broad scale um, operation, but you know, starting in, in a, f a few little areas and, and working outwards from there, you know, I think we're definitely we're, we're going to fire up some some earth moving machine and, and make some changes up high, build some contour banks and, um, and see what happens. Start at the top. Yep, start at the top. <laughs> so what we talk about in our training program is slow the flow, let all plants grow, be careful where the animals go and to filter is a must know. They're the key things that I think any landholder should think about every time they plan on doing anything on their landscape.